Welcome back, everybody. It's the fourth Thursday of the month. I'm Jason LaDuke, taking over from Michelle Davis on the Geeks Are Sexy show, where we talk about business, we talk about success in Las Vegas. But today, we're going to be talking with a nonprofit. And I love to bring nonprofits on the show because you guys have all the challenges of running a business without making that sweet, sweet cash, right? <laughs> That's right. So, so our guest is going to be Lee Jackson, the executive director of Rethink Worldwide. But I am going to take a second to mention our sponsor, 5AM Global, who you're familiar with. I am, very much so. Um, and 5AM Global, at their core, they're a public relations firm, but they go beyond just doing those press releases and doing that normal press distribution and placement. They're going to go out, they're going to find out what the right media for you to be on is. They're going to help you build that relationship with the media. They even do this thing where they will go out and look for awards that you fit in the category for, yeah. and they'll get you submitted for those awards. So 5AM Global... They do the basic public relations stuff, but they go so much further with you to help you with your public relations. So if you're looking for help with that, contact Sean Willis and our team at 5AM Global. Lee, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Hello. Excited to be here. Yeah. So we're going to talk about uh, Rethink Worldwide. You're the executive director there. You've been involved in all aspects of business, marketing, event planning. You're an entrepreneur who started an energy drink a few years ago. <laughs> I did. Which is going to be a whole different show we have you back for. Um, but now you're taking the lead as the executive director of Rethink Worldwide. And what Rethink Worldwide does is they're helping to end single-use plastic Educate individuals on how to live sustainably. We just talked about sustainable businesses in our la in our uh, couple segments ago with Ari, but and how to live how to live sustainably and how to provide solutions to conserve the environment. So thank you for being here. So tell us about Rethink Worldwide. What is it and how did you get involved? So Rethink Worldwide is a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to end single-use plastic, mm -hmm. to educate individuals on how to live sustainably and to provide solutions to conserve mm -hmm. the environment. Okay. So what is single-use plastic? Because I thought I had an idea, and then when you and I sat down, I was shocked yeah. by how many things that aren't, real, that aren't really single-use or single-use plastic. So what are some of the things that are single-use plastic? That's okay. I get asked that a lot because yeah. I've had to learn myself too, right? So it's everything that you can use one time and throw away. Okay. So the number one thing is plastic water bottles. Mm -hmm. You know, People are always drinking out of that and then they toss it, but they forget to recycle mm -hmm. them. Um, the second thing is plastic forks and spoons, mm -hmm. um, containers that you would buy from... Chinese restaurant, you mm -hmm. know, things like that. Uh, those are single use. Yeah. So just remember anything that you use one time and you toss. Right. So even if you're cheap like me and you take <laughs> your Chinese food containers and clean them out and use them again, um, they're still single use plastic and they're still a significant part of the problem. But even things, yeah. it's all these little things we don't think about. It's like plastic straws. When you go to, and I won't say any fast food restaurants because I don't need my life ruined by a big corporation. So, um, <laughs> plastic straws or the lid, the coffee lids, right? Yes. So it's all these little things that, that we may not think about. We may think about the, the cup being able to be recycled, but the lid isn't or the straw isn't. So That that actually is a big deal, the straws. And yeah. I'm glad you, you mentioned that because that is the number one thing that is, you know, killing our precious turtles. Well, and that's, what, that's why we brought you on here. That's what we want to talk about because, yeah. because I don't think people really understand the scope of this problem. And, David, if you can bring up that map. 80% of water bottles aren't recycled, never mind the straws, like 0% of straws are recycled, yes. right? So 80% of water bottles aren't recycled, we got all these straws, what does that really mean and what are these sea gyres that we're looking at the screen now, we can see them, there are five of these gyres out in the oceans, tell yeah. us about those. Well, um, you know, what happens to all these plastic that's not being recycled, um, they end up somehow or another in these sea gyres in the ocean and also in landfills mm -hmm. and um, as you can see from the map there's about uh, there's five of them and most of them are, are the size of Texas yeah and, and, th and that's astounding so you see this is. you see this on the map they've got these little circles here on the map that's about to scale. That's not an yeah. exaggeration. That's how much trash is floating around in these spots in the ocean. Yeah, and all these plastic end up from the whirlpool of water that's trapping the huge collection of trash. Mm -hmm. And so they're, the one that's actually the biggest one is the one between Hawaii and California. Mm -hmm. And as you can see in the map, I mean, there's about uh, an estimated of 3.2 million tons of plastic and trash that are yeah. in the water there. Yeah. And that's what's happening when we don't recycle, when we don't take the time to, you know, to learn about what we can recycle. Cycle, it ends up there, mm -hmm. and um, it takes about 700 to 1,000 years for this plastic to biodegrade. Right. And um, it's releasing these awful toxins into the right. water. And so tell us what that yeah. does to the turtles. 
So, um, as far as the toxins or as far as the plastic? Yeah, let's get it all. <laughs> we, we got 10 minutes, we're here. So, you know, those grocery bags, you actually, just so you guys know, you cannot recycle those. And it's our job to actually go to the grocery stores and bring reusable bags or buy those bags that they're offering now um, so that we don't use plastic mm -hmm. grocery bags because they look like jellyfish in the water and turtles actually love jellyfish and they eat them right you know and then of course they suffocate or they're it's tied around their body and and they can die from that right. so um, in regards to the toxins um, PVC is actually one of the most toxin plastics mm -hmm. out there which is in the water bottle mm -hmm. and some of those plastics have been linked to causing um, anything from breast cancer to your mm -hmm. um, hormone um, problems to stomach problems and things like right. that. So, so all of this is in our seawater right now yeah. and it's all interconnected and related. Yes. We have these big five gyres about the size of Texas. Yeah. So A, we've got all this trash in the ocean. That's pretty gross by itself. Yes. Then it's all leaching stuff into the water yep. that's getting into our food chain. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty gross. David, can you bring up uh, one of the pictures of the beach? And the reason I want to bring this picture up is the gyres are very far away for most people, especially in America, right? We, yeah. It's not something we see every day. And I think that if you can't see a problem in your daily life, it's really hard for it to hit home, but why it's a problem, why I should stop using plastic straws, why, you know, my kids want plastic straws in the, in the car when they drink their drink, right? Why should I stop doing that? But this is one picture of, and I, is this Huntington Island? Henderson. Henderson Island. Where is this? Uh, it's uh, somewhere in the Pacific. Right. <laughs> it's actually um, an island that is, there's no living, there's no human mm -hmm. beings in it. Um, there were studies that were done um, where I think it's about 3,500 pieces of trash that are, are washed up to the shore on a daily basis. On a daily basis. And that's why I yeah. want to show this because this is without human intervention. This is without somebody who's kind of a good person picking stuff up as they go or or you know someone whose job it is to come clean the trash off the beach and David I think we've got another picture that's even that's got even more trash on it right yeah. so this is what happens when yeah that one um, yeah so this is what happens when when we just like let things go without thinking about where they go and I know we don't see a lot of this here in the states but this is what happens when you do this so I hope somebody will see these pictures and go uh, I would never want that to happen here maybe we can do something to keep that from happening where it's happening now absolutely and what can people do? What are some of the replacements they can use instead of single-use single plastic. plastic? So you could uh, use bags that are reusable. Again, um, you don't don't use the plastic uh, grocery bags. You could use water bottles. Don't okay. use the plastic water bottles. Um, bring your own water bottles. You know, a lot of companies actually use those and um, you can get them at any trade show. <laughs> they're giving yeah, those out yeah, all the they time. They are literally, built, I mean, they're just handing them out on street corners. They are. So. And, and, there are uh, and there are reusable straws too, Metal right? straws. Metal straws, yeah, There right? are metal straws that are really, really good now. You can get those at any of the uh, large box stores, you know, and just get that um, instead of using plastic straws. Um, I found that um, there's a couple of restaurants that are, that's actually using bamboo straws, oh, that's which neat. is actually really cool. I like them better than the water uh, than the paper straws. Yeah, the paper straws get a little yeah. soggy if you don't drink your drink quick enough, but I'm going to have to look for those bamboo yeah, straws. Yeah, the bamboo straws so. are nice. So, yep. all right. Well, in addition to your nonprofit, and actually there's a whole story yeah. about how your husband got involved with this other company, and that's where the nonprofit came from, right? Sure. So... Tell us about Rethink Fabrics, okay. which is the shirt you're wearing today. That's what I'm wearing right here. And, and so and you've got a, another one there I that do. I can hold up. So. And I want you to... So, but while I'm, while I'm holding this shirt up, why don't you tell us about Rethink Fabrics and what that, that's all about? Yeah, Rethink Fabrics is uh, a company that my husband and his partner acquired two years ago from Seattle. Mm -hmm. And they moved it here to Vegas. They print here and... Um, uh, the fulfillment and everything, it comes out of Las Vegas. And every shirt is actually made out of 15, about 15 recycled plastic water bottles. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little yeah. larger, so this one uh, <laughs> this one might be 17 or 18, but a little larger than I want to be yeah. right now. But this is a, this is great. And what's great about this is, is it feels really soft. This doesn't, this doesn't, 
Like I would think something made out of reusable plastic bottles would yeah. feel a little a little waxy or a little rigid or that kind of stuff. It feels really soft and nice. So yeah, and uh, I'm actually wearing it. You know, the whole process. The reason why it's like that. There's been mm -hmm. 11 years worth of research that's yeah. put into this company. Mm -hmm. um, you are you have to actually clean the plastic bottle, smash, melt it, reuse. Turns into like little beads, and then you turn mm -hmm. it into the fabric, and we turn it into the shirt. So you can get these shirts. At Rethink Fabrics, Dr. they're like ten bucks. They're really, they're like cheap shirts. I mean, I don't want to say they're cheap. They're inexpensive shirts, and they feel really nice. Yes. So, last thing, you have a big event coming up this summer. Tell us we about do. your event. Well, you know, part of the thing is is part of our initiative is to clean beaches, and those pictures that you showed um, is is one of our key initiatives. Mm -hmm. July, we're heading into Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Then it's a weekend, July twentieth and the twenty first. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go there. It's going to be about twelve of us. So anyone that are still interested, it's about five hundred dollars per person to do okay. that. Um, and for a weekend, we're going to be cleaning the beaches, yep. and, and and that's going to also kick off. Um, our, our October event where we're going to be talking about uh, Rethink Earth Week 2020. Okay, great. Yeah. So, yeah, you've got this big event coming up in Santa Monica, one of the top 10 dirtiest beaches in America. So take that, Los Angeles. Um, <laughs> I love picking on L.A. I don't know why. Um, we don't have a beach in Vegas, so we got to help the, yeah, our, we, our neighbor, we right? we got to do something. But we are, we are going to go help. So, awesome. um, so great. So how can viewers connect with you? Well, you can easily go to rethinkworldwide.org uh, okay. and you can volunteer, you can donate, you can buy a shirt that you just pulled out. Mm -hmm. Those are like $32 and that will go towards our mission um, and our key initiatives to bring awareness of uh, plastic you know, around the mm -hmm. city. And you can also take a little quiz there of how you conscious can. of plastic you are in your life. So Yes, it's an easy two-minute questionnaire yeah, that really will is. actually um, rate you on how you rate, uh, on how you compare to your peers on how sustainable you are. So go take the quiz, yeah. buy a shirt, <laughs> buy a shirt, um, and get signed up to go with Lee and her team down to Santa Monica to help clean up this summer. So Absolutely. stay right there. Okay. We're going to be right back with the, the other two guests with our panel discussions. I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. This is Geeks Are Sexy. Stay right here.